In this video, we will learn what is drug schedule, how many types, and some examples at the end. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. Since 1970, the United States has maintained the Controlled Substance Act in an effort to protect the general public from potentially dangerous and addictive drugs. Drugs, substances, and certain chemicals used to make drugs are classified into five distinct categories or schedules depending upon the drug's acceptable medical use and the drug's abuse or dependency potential. The abuse rate is a determinant factor in the scheduling of the drug. For example, Schedule 1 drugs have a high potential for abuse and the potential to create severe psychological and or physical dependence. As the drug schedule changes, Schedule 2, Schedule 3, etc., so does the abuse potential. Schedule 5 drugs represent the least potential for abuse. Schedule 1 Schedule 1 drugs, substances, or chemicals are defined as drugs with no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. Some examples of Schedule 1 drugs are heroin, lysergic acid dithalamide, LSD, marijuana, cannabis. 3. 4. Methylenidoxide methamphetamine, ecstasy, methaqualone, and peyote. Schedule 2. Schedule 2 drugs, substances, or chemicals are defined as drugs with a high potential for abuse, with use potentially leading to severe psychological or physical dependence. These drugs are also considered dangerous. Some examples of Schedule 2 drugs are combination products with less than 15 mg of hydrocodone per dosage unit, Vicodin, cocaine, methamphetamine, methadone, hydromorphine, mepridine, demerol, oxycodone, oxycontin, fentanyl, dexedrine, Adderall, and Ritalin. Schedule 3. Schedule 3 drugs, substances, or chemicals are defined as drugs with a moderate to low potential for physical and psychological dependence. Schedule 3 drugs abuse potential is less than Schedule 1 and Schedule 2 drugs, but more than Schedule 4. Some examples of Schedule 3 drugs are products containing less than 90 mg of codeine per dosage unit, Tylenol with codeine, ketamine, anabolic steroids, testosterone. Schedule 4 Schedule 4 drugs, substances, or chemicals are defined as drugs with a low potential for abuse and low risk of dependence. Some examples of Schedule 4 drugs are Xanax, Soma, Darvon, Darvacet, Valium, Ativan, Talwin, Ambien, Tramadol. Schedule 5 Schedule 5 drugs, substances, or chemicals are defined as drugs with lower potential for abuse than Schedule 4 and consist of preparations containing limited quantities of certain narcotics. Schedule 5 drugs are generally used for anti-diarrheal, antitusive, and analgesic purposes. Some examples of Schedule 5 drugs are cough preparations with less than 200 mg of codeine or per 100 ml, Robitussin AC, Lomatil, Modafin, Lyrica, Parapectolin. Let's revise them all one more time. Ambien, Schedule 4, Percocet, Schedule 2, Vicodin, Schedule 2, Xanax, Schedule 4, Ativan, Schedule 4, Clonopin, Schedule 4, Valium, Schedule 4, Oxycontin, Schedule 2, Soma, Schedule 4, Tylenol 3, Schedule 3, Concerta, Schedule 2, Lyrica, Schedule 5, Restoral, Schedule 4, Adderall, Schedule 2, Duragesic, Schedule 2, Methadose, Schedule 2, Tucianex, Schedule 3, Adapex, Schedule 4, Lunesta, Schedule 4, Suboxin, Schedule 3, Vivance, Schedule 2. Schedule 3, 4, and 5 controlled substances can be prescribed in writing or via verbal communication with a pharmacist. Prescribers can authorize a refill in writing or over the phone. However, the drug can be refilled only up to five times in the six months after the date that the prescription was issued. The DEA can change or remove a scheduled substance from a schedule if it receives evidence that a substance is in an inappropriate schedule. Okay, that's all. I've tried my best to get accurate as much as possible. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.